So let's go on to the winter phase of our tree. Bless it. Started off nice and green. Lovely. Um, then it changed shape. That's something else. Then it went into autumn. Changed shape again. And now we're into winter. So I'm going to show you an easy way of doing a winter tree without driving yourself crazy by doing all the um, branches and twigs. Um, again, I'm using some raw amber. Let's just get a rough, a rough trunk in, okay? And then we're going to divide this into one fairly big trunk split it sort of thing and small ones going off like that okay whoops that's not very good okay now we're going to start taking out some smaller twigs and branches And you can thicken up bits as you go backwards and forwards. You can sort of just change your mind. And don't forget, we don't want a nice pattern. We want a fairly random sort of thing. And they do cross over. Because remember, this tree isn't flat, it's round. So there's going to be lots of things going on all around it in different places. That, that branch is coming out the back, you see. So just get a... A rough idea. And really you've got so many branches crisscrossing here and everywhere you don't have to try and keep track of them all. And some of them can be not quite joined up, that's okay too. And then when you get towards the edge you've got lots and lots of little tiny twigs. So what I do sometimes is just do a, a very pale wash in places. You can do it in places just to give you the idea of lots and lots of little twigs. And you could break it up with a bit of kitchen towel so it's not so strong. So you're giving that impression. And if these are in a distance, a distant clump of trees, they look even better because then it's just like the idea of lots and lots of little twigs or even bits of dead leaves. Let's come back to the trunk and do a bit more. Let's make that a bit darker because it is winter. So I'll just pop some Payne's Grey in, make a bit of texture on the trunk. And you can, as with all the other ones, you can do quite a bit of messing about if you wish. Gives you a bit more te texture and shadow if you do things like that as well. Because it depends what what it depends what situation you're in. You know, this is in isolation. It looks pretty lame, but if it's within a, a landscape, then it does start to look quite different. Now I'm going to just soften that off a bit. And again just dab, soften off and I'm going to go to a very thin brush now, this tiny 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 three, that's the one I want, let's just have a look. Now if you run that into the wet bit, 
you'll get it bleeding out and it'll give you a nice effect of that feeling of oops don't forget you can re if you if you get a bit and you think oh that didn't work just rub it out a bit So now you've got this lovely idea of all these little twigs and branches. See where I'm holding my brush high up now because I just want it to be a random little little lines. And if you want a bit more control, yes of course, you can come back in and really start fiddling about. just dab that off a bit because it's a bit too wet to work in. See by going into it's just damp enough just to make a little bit of a smudge and give you the idea of more dead leaves and twigs on the ends. And you can go on and on and on as you well know and just oh, I don't like that bit don't be afraid to change things have a little mess about so there you go there my friends is an idea for a winter tree so I hope you like that and I hope that makes sense to you and I hope you enjoy having a go with your own tree that's lost all its leaves.